everyone, my name's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to compare the new Hello Hobby chalk paint that Walmart is now carrying compared to the Waverly chalk paint that seems to have disappeared from a lot of our shelves, which I am very, very sad about. I noticed quite a while ago now that my Walmart stopped carrying Waverly chalk paint. I was like, what the heck is going on? Are they just going through a shortage? Is this like pandemic all over again when all the paint flew off the shelves? No idea what was going on. And I mentioned this in one of my videos and everybody was telling me that Walmart was discontinuing the Waverly chalk paint in their store and they were coming out with their own line. So I went through and picked up quite a few colors of the Hello Hobby chalk paint that Walmart is now carrying and no more Waverly chalk paint. I don't know if any other stores are going to pick this up and carry it. I don't know if you can still get it online. The last time I checked on Walmart site, you could still get it online, but not in my store. I know a lot of people have also said that their Walmart is still currently carrying the Waverly chalk paint if your store is. Grab it before it's gone. <laughs> I wish that I would have known and I would have stocked up. So let me know, do you know any kind of details or anything revolving that if they are gonna be in other stores? A couple people said that Hobby Lobby was going to carry it, but I don't know, these are all just kind of rumors and I don't know for sure. All I know is my Walmart doesn't have any more and we have Hello Hobby. So like I said, picked up a few of these. They also have a wax, an antique wax, and I wanted to compare the Hello Hobby wax to the Waverly wax in antique and kind of see what I, you know, what my thoughts are. The antique wax from Waverly is one of my favorites to distress and use as a stain. So that is one big bummer. I luckily have this big guy, but he's probably I don't know, a third full, um, maybe half. I may have to go online and, and purchase some Waverly chalk paint and some wax if I can find it. One thing to also mention is that I do believe the Hello Hobby and the Waverly chalk paint do cost the same when it comes to these bottles. I don't know for sure on the bigger sizes, but in my Walmart specifically, they had the exact same price, you know, sheet or price section, whatever you want to call it, um, on there. In fact, it still said Waverly. So um, it was $1.67, I believe, for each of these bottles. And I want to say that is what these were sold for as well. So I'm going to be comparing the two paints and the two waxes together, painting on some of my wood pieces from my online store, painting on some Dollar Tree items, kind of giving you my comparison of what I like and don't like. And yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. Without further ado, without any more chit chatting, let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to double check and I went on the walmart.com website and to just look for Waverly paint and I couldn't really find anything. I found a couple that were saying that they were in my store, but I've been in there, they're not there and the only ones that I could purchase to be delivered to my house was the biggest bottle and there was only a couple of them that I could actually choose from. So even the Walmart website doesn't have a whole lot of options to purchase. I went to Plaid, couldn't purchase anything off there. So I'm not sure what's going on and why some stores have them and why some stores don't. I tried researching to figure out, you know, if there were any updates anywhere. Couldn't find anything. I even went to the Plaid Facebook page and posted a little post on there asking a question about it. Haven't heard anything back. So, not sure where it's at. Not sure what's going on. But if you have any info, definitely leave it in the comments below for us to see. So I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of what the Hello Hobby bottles look like. They've got the wax, they've got, you know, your regular paints. This is, you know, the assortment that I bought comparing the two from Waverly to Hello Hobby. This is what the difference in the bottles look like. One is just a little bit taller and the Hello Hobby doesn't have the little swatch on the top, which... 
I kind of prefer it to have the little swatch in the name at the top because then it just gives you a better idea of what that color is going to look like and I will show you why that was important to me a little bit later on in the video. So I'm gonna start off by using some pieces that are a part of my craft kits on my website, moredecalanddecor.com. And I'm gonna take the pieces that I'm gonna use the antique wax on. So first I'm going to show you kind of the difference between the two and the consistency between the Waverly and the Hello Hobby. So I'm just gonna use this little clear plate and pour out some Hello Hobby wax and then pour out my my Waverly Wax and Antique and show you basically the difference between the two. One is a whole lot thicker than the other. You can see the Waverly Wax is a lot runnier and they just have a completely different consistency and I do feel like that matters. And with the Waverly Chalk Paint and the Hello Hobby Chalk Paint, I wanted to show you the exact same thing just to, you know, kind of dive into the paints and you know, do a, do a little experiment between the two. So you have your Hello Hobby in green and your Waverly in blue. And you can see when I turn the plate up, which one is more runny or thinner and which one is thicker. So the Hello Hobby is definitely a lot thicker than the Waverly chalk paint. So going back to my waxes, I am going to start staining some of my wood pieces. So I just filled up this little paint holder and I'm going to do two different techniques. This first one is just using a paintbrush and I'm just going to go back and forth with my paintbrush and try to stain half of that arch and I did have to dip my brush in several times I feel like to be able to cover everything that I was trying to cover. Um, I don't feel like it went as far. Normally with my Waverly chalk paint I can dip it in and drag my brush along quite you know, a while before I need to dip my brush back in. Um, but that's just, I don't know, kind of a random observation. And I did feel like the Hello Hobby stain or this wax was pretty thick. So it did make my wood look a lot darker than, you know, a normal stain would, if that makes sense. It almost kind of gave it like a more of paint effect I would say and then for the other side I'm going to use a different technique that I do which is getting a baby wipe and rubbing the stain on that way or the wax I call it a stain just because I use it as a stain so you can see the difference from using the baby wipe versus the brush I do feel like using the baby wipe was better in getting that stain like effect uh, with the wax versus using your brush now with my Waverly Wax and Antique, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use a brush, paint it on. I'll take a paper towel and wipe the excess off. And I do feel like this wax gives more of a stain-like effect when using a paintbrush and using a paper towel to remove this stain. I didn't feel like I needed to go back through with a baby wipe and try to lighten it up at all. And then for those bottom two pieces, I'm going to do the other way that I do it with the baby wipe, dipping it in there, and then just staining my two pieces. So I only had to dip my baby wipe in there once for each side. Same with the wax from Hello Hobby. I just feel like a baby wipe will make it go a lot further than using your brush, but that is basically the same thing for both. Now I wanted to do a little DIY on a Dollar Tree item and use the wax to distress. That's one of the things that I like to use my wax for the most is distressing and then staining. So I'm gonna take this white little succulent sign. I'm gonna remove the succulent from the inside and then I'm gonna take a chip brush and the Hello Hobby wax and I'm going to use that to distress the sign. So I'm just gonna dab off the excess. One thing I did notice about this wax is that it's very sticky and very stringy so when I dip my chip brush into the wax you could see those like strings of wax pulling up I don't know exactly why it does that my Waverly chalk paint does not uh, and I kind of prefer it not to it, I just feel like it's 
more messy, if that makes sense. And then the other thing I noticed with this is that it took forever to dry. And in fact, it's been 24 hours now and it still is sticky. When I went to pick it up today, it left some residue on my hands. And by this time, my Waverly wax would have been completely dry. In fact, whenever I use a heat gun on my Waverly wax, it dries up basically 100%. I did use a heat gun on this and still afterwards I had to set it to the side because it was not dry and yeah, it just was very sticky to the touch. So I'm not sure exactly why that is. Just by using it, it definitely isn't my favorite between the two. I love the Waverly Wax so much better than this, but I think that if this is all you have, it definitely gets the job done. It's definitely not a bad wax by any means. It's just compared to Waverly Wax, not my favorite. So following up with the waxes, here is the conclusion that I've come to. The Hello Hobby Antique Wax, much, much thicker than the Waverly Wax, and it's a lot stickier. Like if you notice when I pull the brush up from dabbing in, you have those strings of wax. It's not my favorite thing in the world, and I feel like it takes a lot longer to dry when I'm handling my item after I've distressed it and it's been sitting there for a while. It still does feel sticky, and it feels like I still need to go over it with my, my heat gun. Um, my Waverly Wax doesn't do that. It dries really, really fast, and I just... It's like that perfect consistency, if that makes sense. It goes a really long way, especially when I'm using a baby wipe to rub on, rub it on like a stain. Um, yeah, just overall, I love the Waverly Wax in Antique. The Hello Hobby Wax, I mean, it'll get the job done, but it's just, it's just not my favorite. So. Um, I guess once my antique wax is all gone and I can't find anything better, this is, you know, one that I could gravitate towards, but it's definitely not going to be my first choice. Moving along to the paints, I'm going to take the Hello Hobby paint in white and I'm just going to fill that little spot up on my paint holder. And from the start, again, I did notice that this paint was a whole lot thicker than your Waverly chalk paint. Now I'm going to start painting this window arch again that's from my website and you'll notice that on one of the sides there's a mark in the wood that's just kind of that a darker color it's just a different you know color of wood <laughs> and i want you to take notice of how many times i have to paint over it to get that to cover up in fact in the end it still was visible after all the coats that i did and I'm just going to go through and give this all one good coat. Now you can see here, I wanted to show you that little mark in on the side. You can see that right there. This is just one coat around the outside and it is pretty visible. I'm gonna go through and finish giving this all one good coat. And I will say that I had to pour about two or two, three more times for the one coat. I would say it's probably three fourths full of that little round section on my paint holder. That's probably about the amount of paint that I used just for one coat of paint. Now you can see here is just one full coat of paint all over the entire arch and window. And you can see that mark still there. So I would say I did probably about two and a half coats right here and you can still see that mark on the front now to finish off the back and just for you know comparison's sake i'm going to take my waverly chalk paint in white and i'm going to paint over the entire back now you can see all the burn marks and everything that are on the back of the window and i'm going to use my waverly chalk paint to cover that up i did probably about a coat and a half of my waverly chalk paint and you can see how full that i accidentally filled this thing but i feel like by the time i was done painting i barely made a dent in there so 
really I did one coat and then the other coat that I did was just kind of touching up places that I felt like needed it. So you can see here it is after one coat. This is what it looks like. And I feel like just for one coat, this looks pretty dang good. And then I went back through and just did some touch-ups and here is what it looks like. So here is my Waverly chalk paint side. Here is my Hello Hobby side. It's hard to tell on camera, but if you see it in person, you can definitely notice a difference between the two. In fact, when I put this back all together and glued my top piece on top, I switched it to the Waverly chalk paint side just because it looked a whole lot more vibrant and white and I felt like the Hello Hobby side looked a bit dull. Now for my barn, I'm just gonna use my Waverly chalk paint and lacquer. You guys have seen me use Waverly chalk paint in basically all of my videos. So you should know by now what it kind of looks like when you're painting with it. And if you have it, then you definitely already know what it's like when you're painting with it. You kind of already have that idea. So I just did a really messy layer of paint here. I didn't want it to be perfect. I wanted it to look rustic and weathered. So I just did a rough coat of my Waverly paint. And then for these little pieces, I'm gonna take my Hello Hobby paint and paint my other pieces that go along with it. And for the colors for Hello Hobby, I thought that they looked great. I only did one coat per little piece and I felt like they covered up really, really nicely. So maybe it's just the white and the ivory, the lighter colors is what I noticed that needed more coverage. And that can be said with any kind of paint as well. Obviously the lighter paint, you're gonna need more coats to cover more of what you're wanting to cover um, versus you know these dark greens and blacks and dark blues, colors like that, that you don't necessarily need more than one coat of because they cover it pretty well on their own. So I didn't notice anything huge with these. I thought that they looked great. I thought the colors were beautiful and they worked really well. One thing that I will say that I noticed from the Hello Hobby paints is that they do have that kind of house paint smell to them. I'm not sure why, but that's just when I noticed when I was painting them, I was just getting that house paint smell. If you know what I mean, if you've ever painted in your home, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's just that kind of weird smell and with the Waverly paint, I don't ever notice any kind of smell. Now, like I mentioned before, I wish that the Hello Hobby had the little paint swatches on the top because when I was in store and I picked this paint up, I assumed that midnight meant black and the packaging around it looked black, so I thought that this was going to be black. I squeezed a little bit out and it definitely was not black. It's more of a dark blue color and I was so confused when I was painting with it. So I took the back of this bow and just, you know, did a little swatch on there and it is definitely just a really dark blue color. So I'm going to show you the what I thought was the dark blue the vintage blue versus the midnight to me that looks black and so I got my Waverly chalk paint and ink did a little comparison swatch next to each other and you can definitely tell one is blue and one is black so I feel like if they added the little swatches on the top it would help us you know figure out what colors are black and which colors are blue or you know get a better idea of what the colors are i did go on to walmart.com and found that they do carry an actual black color in the hello hobby so that was definitely my mistake but just from first glance it does look black so i am going to take my ivory color from hello hobby and i'm going to paint these middle inside bow pieces and again i did have to do about two coats to cover it up i just felt like the wood was really soaking this paint up i don't know if it's the wood i don't know if it's the paint but just from the lighter colors, you definitely need to do more than one coat. Now, I'm going to take another couple pieces from the Dollar Tree, these succulent pieces in the triangles, and I'm just going to stack two of them on top of each other and hot glue them together. And I wanted to test out more of the colored paint from Hello Hobby. So I am going to take this really pretty dusty pink color from Hello Hobby and I am going to squeeze some out. I did fill it basically completely full in this little paint pan. And I am going to use that to paint 
my little planter is what I'm going to call it. And I had to do two coats of paint on here. I'll show you what it looks like after one coat. But I did feel like after one coat, you could still see streaks of brown and white through that first coat. So it definitely didn't cover all the way. It almost kind of reminded me of a thicker, just regular acrylic paint. When you're painting with acrylic paint, I feel like you do get a lot of those streaks through the paint on the first coat. Hopefully that makes sense and you know what I'm talking about. But it just did not provide that full coverage on the first coat. So I used my heat gun to dry that first coat and this is what it looked like after the first coat. So you can still see, you know, that bit of brown and white peeking through and where I needed to do a second coat. And granted, a lot of times you have to do second coats with the Waverly chalk paint as well. I just feel like you don't have to use as much paint for the Waverly chalk paint versus the Hello Hobby. So you can see that this Hello Hobby paint that I poured out is basically all gone and I only got two coats with that amount of paint and I just feel like, I don't know, it, it's thicker but it doesn't get you further. Um, it's still a really good paint. I think the color is beautiful and I'm definitely still going to use it just compared and being picky and comparing it to Waverly, I just don't think it's quite as good. So in conclusion, Hello Hobby or Waverly chalk paint. I'm still going to say that I love Waverly chalk paint. I honestly don't understand why Walmart would stop carrying them if it's such a big brand. If they go on YouTube and watch any of the crafters on there, we're all using Waverly chalk paint and there's a really good reason for it because it's so good. So I, I, I don't get it. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, is Hello Hobby chalk paint bad? Absolutely not. Will I grab it? Probably, especially when my other stuff <laughs> runs out. I have it. I bought it. Might as well use it. Um, the misty pink color I thought was really, really cute. They had a huge array of colors, maybe not huge, but it seemed like there were a lot more colors from the Hello Hobby line versus the regular Waverly chalk paint line. That's just my observation from when I was in Walmart. Um, a lot more different colors to kind of pick and choose from, which is always fun. But I feel like in terms of quality, um, you don't have to use as many coats or even if you're using the same amount of coats, you're using way more of this paint. Um, I just feel like it's so thick, but it doesn't provide the same coverage. Hopefully that makes sense. And I do feel like as well that the Waverly chalk paint dries a bit faster than the Hello Hobby. I felt like when I would touch this after I'd been drying for a while, it still kind of had that sticky feeling to it. And the Waverly chalk paint, it just dries so, so fast, which is very convenient for us YouTube crafters who are trying to get all of our crafts out as fast as we possibly can and we literally don't have time to wait for paint to dry which is again one of the reasons why i love waverly chalk paint so much so with that being said if you can find it grab it before it's gone if you know where it's going to be or if it's going to be continued to be sold somewhere on plaid or on walmart.com or any kind of other craft store let a girl know please. I, I'm begging you. I, I need, I need my Waverly chalk paint. And if you have a comparable chalk paint that, you know, is as good, let me know. I know Folk Art has chalk paint and I have several of their bottles. I like them. I just don't like them quite as much as Waverly. And I probably like Folk Art more than I like the Hello Hobby one as well. So yeah, I'll just be playing around with more of this testing it out. You'll probably see it in several of my upcoming videos just so that I can, you know, see if it'll grow on me at all. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Have you tried Hello Hobby? Do you like it? Do you not? I know there's been a bunch of mixed reviews there, so let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!